What's the biggest misconception of you at this point? What's one thing people think about you, but it's not true? Mm, that I'm really, that I'm really like hyper all the time. That like I'm, I'm supposed to say jokes all the time, and that I have a really high pitched voice. You know what I mean? When I really talk like this. Craziest rumor you heard about yourself? That I was gay. <laughs> yeah, I heard a rumor that I was gay, and and um somebody somebody uh, uh somebody made a DM. I remember somebody made a DM, and he sent it to me. And what it looked like it was a it was a screenshot of a DM that was edited, and it was asking me for like pictures of this of this boy. And I was like, what the hell? Like, what's going on? I was like, yo, this, that's crazy, that's crazy. But that's the craziest thing I've ever heard about myself. Was that something you addressed? No, I never addressed it because like like two people sent it to me and I was like, no. Oh, I see. Yeah. But just for the record, false, you're not gay. Yeah, I'm not gay, I'm straight. I have a girlfriend, a beautiful girlfriend named Kai. If you're watching this, say what's up. I miss you and I love you. Now, is there a question people ask of you you just can't stand? Just hate to answer. It just seems to be the same yeah. question all the time. Yeah. Why are you so short? Like, I don't know. God made me like this. I don't understand. I hate when people ask me, why are you so short? Like, dog, like, I don't know. Like, it's Jesus. I don't understand why people always ask me that. Like, it's undeniable. I'm five, 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 six on a good day. Does that run in your family? Is everybody short? Yeah, everybody's short. That's the thing. Everybody's short in my family. Except my brother. He's like five, eight, and he's like 15. But it's because he plays basketball and stuff. I don't do that. How tall is your dad? How tall is your mom? Mom's like 4'11". My mm. dad like 5'6". So it's like, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, sounds like it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you care what people think of you? Yeah, I try not to though. I try not to. Try not to. I'm going to be honest with you. I try not to. But um, I feel like that it's good to, to not because... At the end of the day, man, they're all just words and they're all like words hurt, but sometimes you got to learn how to block that. That can either, that's why I say social media is either a good thing or a bad thing. I've heard somebody told me that social media can make you a billionaire and social media can make you want to kill yourself. So it's like, it's about how you can handle it, man. Social media is a powerful thing and words really do matter. Now, speaking of killing yourself, this leads to this next question. Now, when people do care about an opinion of themselves, so much so it can lead to health issues, mm -hmm. on a worst case scenario, su suicidal thoughts. I agree. Uh, but even before that, a little bit more uh, easier, uh, a certain level of stress, people mm -hmm. can uh, go under, uh, anxiety, of depression. Mm -hmm. Did you face any of these obstacles yourself when it came to caring about another person's opinion of you? Um, yes, I did. When, when, um, when I was younger, I used to be a little chubbier and I didn't have a lot of clothes and stuff like that. So like not, my mom could never buy me anything cause I didn't, we didn't have money, you know what I'm saying? Like, so like just being able to, um, you know, wear the same clothes and do all this stuff and people like, I used to get teased for wearing the same shirt twice, the same day twice or the same shoes twice, you know what I'm saying? So like it, it, it built me and it made me, it made me sad, made me depressed, didn't want me to go to school and stuff like that. And it was just like, but you know, you, you grow through that, you learn through that. That's just, it, I feel like people get bullied and stuff like that. It's a bad thing, but it makes you better for the, for the adult world. You know what I mean? It makes you better for the adult world and being able to go, because when if they don't bully you, then life's gonna bully you. When life bullies you, that's, that's an end game. That don't end, that don't end. So, you know, I hated it, but I'm glad I went through it. So you were bullied? Yeah. Uh, uh, emotionally, physically, cyber? I was bullied, I was bullied like verbally, like I believe like they'd be like, make fun, they would talk about me all the time. They make, I used to make Instagram videos. So they make fun of my Instagram videos. They would talk about, they would talk about it at a table and make fun of it and tell me that I wasn't gonna do anything. And they would make fun of my clothes cause I didn't have no logo, I had big ass, extra large college shirts, make fun of my shoes. I had like, band, I had girl shoes, you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't have like a lot. I had like, used to wear my sister's socks, like Dora socks and stuff when she was younger. And then like, yeah. But, you know, I don't care. It, it was dope. It was, it, was a, it, was a, it was an experience to go through. They made fun of your Instagram, but here you are with over a million followers on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm just doing my part, man. God really blessed me with that. And I, I really appreciate God and I appreciate, you know, 
whatever they're doing, man, they're, I'm wishing them the best. If you guys are watching this and you bullied me, thank you. And I'm wishing you the best right now to do your stuff and more blessings to you and your family. Has anybody that's previously bullied you, even if it was just one episode of it, has anybody ever, you know, even at this point, people growing up, people mm -hmm. getting older, has anybody ever maybe slid in your DM and, and apologized or said, you know what? Uh, you know, yeah. sorry about that. Yeah, of course, a lot, a lot. But I'm not the person to hold a grudge, you know what I mean? I'm like, all right, man, it's cool. You know, at the end of the day, we were kids, you know what I'm saying? I'm not the person to be like, oh, no, you you, you threw my lunch in fifth grade, fuck you, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, like, it's cool, bro. We, we let bygones be bygones, let's move on from that. I might not like be like super best friends with you, but I'm still, I'm a man at the end of the day, I'm still gonna have respect, you know? Now, people react to bullying in a number of ways. We've seen good ways, we've seen horrible ways. How did you cope with verbal bullying back then? Uh, I went to Instagram. I went to Instagram and Vine. I used to, um, people make fun of me and stuff like that. I would, I would, there was a point in time where I would just take that, whatever they said about me, and I would say it on YouTube, I mean, on Instagram and Vine. And people, people thought it was funny. You know what I'm saying? Whatever I was going through, if they knew something about that, I didn't have a bed frame or nothing. I would make fun of that on the bed frame, like, oh, look, you know what I'm saying? I can't even do this, you know what I'm saying? I don't got no stand. You come in, you step on my bed, you can soon as you walk in the door or something like that, you know? And people would laugh, like, oh my gosh, this, this kid's funny. So it just like, they were just giving me jokes at this point, you know what I mean? So good. you flipped it. Yeah, flipped it. You turned it around. Yeah, turned to a positive. Now, there are different people watching this that are going through different types of bullying mm -hmm. and different circumstances for everybody, but Anything you would say to somebody going through those motions right now? Man, if you're getting bullied, man, just remember that 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 you are stronger than the person who's bullying you. And that's just a hundred percent fact. That's so cliche to say, and every school says it, and they always be like, "Oh, you're you're the bigger person," but it really is, bro. People will have bullied. I've seen people bully kids, and they bully them because their dad's not at their house. Their dad's not home. They they. They don't know where they're gonna sleep. They don't know anything. So they get on, they put all that, that, that anger on, some, on you or somebody else. So if you're really going through that, man, I'm sending my positive vibes to you and love and just push through and don't ever give up. Don't ever give up in anything you wanna do. Remember that you can do what you wanna do. You're not here to impress anybody. Your parents, nobody. You, you are your own person. Do that. Now, off camera, you did mention to me that you did some homeschooling. Yeah. Uh, was homeschooling done because of the bullying? No, homeschooling was done because of, I was getting, I was homeschooled in around 10th grade, 10th grade, and I was homeschooled because it was too, it was too hectic. I used to live um, two hours out from my school, you know what I'm saying, driving there every day, it was bad, you know what I'm saying? And like, I was doing auditions and stuff like that, and I was becoming popular, popular, and it was just too bad, I, I wanted to focus on, what I wanted to do in my life as my career, you know? So I, I did homeschooling and did that. It was never bullying. Oh, I see, I got you. Yeah. Now, uh, did you ever seek counseling? Did you ever seek therapy? Did you ever seek <laughs> nah, black medication, do doctor? Black people don't do that. I don't do all that. I just talk, I just, I talk to the camera. Do you feel like you need any of that today? <laughs> no, I'm pretty fine. Um, I'm pretty good, man. I, I'm, I'm really good at coping with my problems, you know? I feel like this is a therapy session. <laughs> now, what about, okay, I know you care about uh, how people think, you know, you, you try not to care about other people's opinions of you, but you do. Yeah. But, okay, that's of you. What about your acting? Do you care what people think about your acting? Um, I feel like I do. I do. You do also. Because, because their opinions, really, sometimes they do matter. Because at the end of the day, an actor is portraying what? What, an, what a human being does. And who's the best to judge a human being? Another human being. You know what I mean? If I'm, if I'm, a, if I'm a, a tiger, if I'm supposed to be a tiger, I'm not going to listen to what a human being says about my acting as a tiger. I'm going to listen to what tigers say. You know what I'm saying? But for me to play a character or another human being, I'm going to listen to what the people say. And they'll give me my dues. You know what I'm saying? My respect if I, if, I, if I did a pretty good job at portraying that image or that story. What are your keys to success? My keys to success is consistency, um, being yourself, finding your niche, and just 
just being being true to yourself. That's what being true to yourself and being consistent is the top two things because those are the things that really make you who you are. And no matter what you do, if it's different, if it's weird, there are seven seven billion people in this world. Somebody likes what you like. You know what I mean? So you're gonna get your own audience.